Hello Blazers, Sidish Boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. How guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. And guys, in this video, get ready to screenshot all the NFTs you want, break all of the online rules, because in today's video, we're going to be talking about the news or the topic of Russia trying or thinking about banning cryptocurrency completely. Yes, guys, it seems like, you know, all these Russian crypto billionaires, they had a pretty good run, but now it might be very over very, very soon. And yeah, guys, by the way, for a couple of last days, I was sick, so my voice might sound a little bit weird my apologies thank you for caring about my health so russian cryptocurrency ban i know that this video is gonna split my you know audience into two you know one half would be like epic leftist environmental activists you know redditors and gonna be like yes one more country is banning nfts and cryptocurrency yes good riddance elon musk and the other half would be epic libertarian crypto bros that are gonna be like damn dude this is messed up this is human rights violation look in this video i'm not gonna be on either side because honestly i have really no stake in this i'm not really into crypto and i'm gonna explain in this video why exactly it's mainly due to the way it exists in the russian sort of legal system so let's just look at what's going on with cryptocurrency in russia and talk about it now currently in russia cryptocurrency is very much in the legal gray area much more so than it is in a lot of european countries or america for example as far as i know in the united states like it's legal and you can actually pay tax from your income and be a cryptocurrency day trader or just hold legally whatever right well in russia that's really not the case because it's it's like a double-edged sword because on one side there's no regulation there is no like officially defined legal way how to pay tax on cryptocurrency income and there is no outright ban of it as far as i understand a lot of people in russia who actually deal with crypto they just kind of do it then they use like p2p to put out the money to their bank and then they just kind of hope their bank doesn't get their card doesn't get blocked essentially because the situation currently is that cryptocurrency is not banned in russia but transactions from cryptocurrency exchanges or p2p transactions actually can get your card blocked because the central bank of russia which basically regulates all of the banks inside of russia gave the russian banks an instruction that if they see a lot of uh, transactions from cryptocurrency exchanges on a particular account just lock that motherfucker and that's it and i speak to some people who actually are into crypto here in russia and i've heard a lot of stories of people having to you know change like 50 banks in order to can just continue doing crypto stuff so sounds like a fucking hassle which is actually exactly one of the reasons why i don't really get into it because you know i make my money on YouTube, I have a legally registered business accounts. I pay my taxes and stuff. Last thing I want is to get into cryptocurrency and have the accounts in which I uh, have all of my money for that account to be blocked because of a tiny cryptocurrency transaction, right? So, but on the other hand, also I've heard stories from a lot of people as well who are into crypto who said that they've never experienced any issues and their accounts have never been banned, even though they've made a lot of money. So, so yeah, crypto in Russia has been in this gray legal area for the longest time now. You know, already feels like Russia has started fighting against crypto, but recently the central bank of Russia, again, like the main regulator of uh, the Russian ruble, the Russian currency, and the regulator of all the bank and financial sort of systems in Russia, they had like a report in which they said that basically they have a couple of ideas of on why cryptocurrencies and mining should be banned in Russia altogether. So let's see what they said here. First of all, you need to understand that this is uh, a sort of a point that the central bank of Russia has been expressing for a while now. For example, the head of the central bank at the end of 2021, she said that that cryptocurrencies actually pose a big risk for uh, regular investors because of their high volatility and also their usage for illegal activity. So essentially, we cannot be for uh, people investing in cri into cryptocurrency. Look, to a certain degree, I feel like, yes, it's fair, but I don't know. I, I don't really get it. I feel like there should be another way around this. So first of all, the central bank wants to ban using cryptocurrency as a way of paying uh, for goods, for services, and for work inside of Russia. So essentially, what this means probably is that it's going to be illegal for companies to pay their employees in crypto. They want to make that illegal and also um, essentially make uh, creating cryptocurrencies like coins themselves and crypto exchanges and P2P platforms on the territory of Russia illegal as well. So essentially, if you're in Russia and if you want to make a cryptocurrency of your own or whatever, no longer going to be able to do that. Apparently, there's also talks of um, banning mining. And this is the thing as well. Crypto mining is also in like a legal gray area in Russia too because you know mining uses a shit ton of electricity and like using too much electricity is basically illegal in russia which you have to do to mine right 
I don't know, I've never fucking mined in my life, so I wouldn't know. But also the term mining Bitcoin, it's not like illegal, there's no like law against it. But basically everything you would have to do in order to mine, that is illegal. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's weird, it's weird. But it's practically illegal already, to be honest. Also, the central bank wants to ban uh, Russian financial uh, organizations to be able to invest into crypto and anything related to the blockchain, basically. And also to ban using uh, Russian banks and Russian like financial, the Russian financial infrastructure to basically like uh, manage cryptocurrency transactions so essentially meaning that you're not going to be able to buy or to sell or to do whatever with cryptocurrency using your russian bank account you know technically the central bank actually said that they don't want to make uh, owning cryptocurrency in itself illegal for like regular russians but they want to basically make it harder or uh, impossible for people to actually get into it and buy it or sell it and yeah also the bank of russia wants to basically have uh, more integration with like cryptocurrency exchanges and to uh, talk more with uh, the Russian tax service and to be able to track if people own cryptocurrency and to track people's cryptocurrency transactions which I mean it's fair if the point was to sort of legalize it and to you know make it so that people could pay tax from it and go legal from it but the point here is to restrict it and honestly again i'm not like an expert in crypto at all you know i really don't know how this shit works but as far as i understand the whole idea of crypto is that you are like untraceable or whatever like governments can really track who what belongs to who so i really don't know how well this is gonna work but we well, guys know i have full trust in the government so they're gonna make it work anyway so let's talk about this uh what does this mean and why does russia want to ban crypto currency honestly i just feel like russia's going in the same way as china is uh because china you know banned cryptocurrency a while ago and look honestly as a person who's not heavily invested into it i don't care about this from a standpoint of like oh my god i'm gonna lose my money or whatever or oh my god you know i'm gonna not become a billionaire in a second because this is what crypto is all about it's not i just care about this because you know i care anytime you know something's being banned and uh, some sort of financial freedom is being restricted again it is debatable of course whether cryptocurrency is like a viable thing and understand that a lot of the concerns with the risks of volatility and whatever these are genuine concerns right but I don't really see why the solution is to ban it the central bank uh, said a lot of times that the reason why they're concerned with cryptocurrency is that they can be used for laundering money for avoiding taxes for funding terrorism and like illegal activity or whatever that is definitely true of course that is part of it but if Russia created a system where cryptocurrency could be properly declared and taxed and people could actually go legal because I'm saying today in Russia there's a lot of people that want to go legal and actually make money and pay tax on cryptocurrency but there is no way to do it so maybe if there was a way to pay tax on this people would not launder money and avoid tax as much you know I mean maybe I just believe in people's good nature too much and it's not gonna do shit and everybody's gonna be like still like yeah fucking libertarian gang taxation is death dude but I don't know I really don't know because I feel like if you could pay tax on cryptocurrency in Russia the Russian economy would get a lot of benefits because honestly it almost feels like how of like the fucking entire cryptocurrency world is like from eastern europe and russia and shit or like in russia we probably have the biggest amount of like you know crypto geniuses that are doing like a shit ton of you know projects and stuff and getting their racks up okay and if these people pay tax on it the country would get racks as well but instead what happens is that overall the financial freedom is sort of restricted and also these people that could have you know been a benefit to the economy what these people are probably gonna do is just you know either move immigrate or you know go abroad and open up an offshore Show accounts and just funnel their money through that and pay tax there maybe and then as a result russia is not gonna get anything anyway so i don't really i don't really get it man and again it's also like a difficult topic because if you guys want the sort of the answer for me in this video whether russia really is gonna ban cryptocurrency i mean honestly they've been talking about this for years you know it's kind of like every year there's news in russia about how you know youtube is gonna be banned like right now guys is gonna be banned but it never happens basically i feel like ever since like 2016 2017 every single year there's been news about Russia banning crypto and so far it hasn't happened it's still in that gray area but this time you know it does feel like it gets more and more serious than before so yeah I honestly don't know what to expect I don't really feel like it's necessarily beneficial for Russia to ban cryptocurrency but that's really not up for me to decide so I just wanted to tell you guys about this because first of all my channel's dead at the moment gotta revive it gotta make videos about something that's actually interesting <laughs> not about penis houses of St. Petersburg because nobody liked that video apparently and also I know probably a lot of people in my demographic my subscribers or whatever they do care about crypto a little bit either they're gonna care from the standpoint of fuck yeah they're finally doing it fuck crypto 
or they're gonna care from the point of oh my god what is, what are they what are they doing this is a, hu a violation of human rights so yeah so yeah dude all right peak crypto make sure to screenshot my nfc whatever the fuck <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy it, then please make sure to slap the like on it as well guys if you like what i do on this channel if you like me hopefully then you guys can support me additionally go over to the link down in the description to my patreon donate to it i would gladly appreciate it it helps me out a lot and yeah guys that is going to be pretty much it for today's video and i will see you guys in the next one peace